uh hello youtube welcome to another type of bunk tutorial and uh, i'm really sorry for not making a tutorial for a while that's because my screen recorder had stopped working and i had not even i didn't have any idea in mind and the main problem was of my screen recorder but now it's fine so uh, but today in game we're going to be creating a stardust stardust vintage wallpaper in game so uh, as you can see, I've made a new wall, new image, 1,600 into 200, and uh, now uh, select your gradient tool. Uh, select your foreground color on a light brown, uh, cream, a muddish color. The HTML notation is 8E7848. Click OK, and select a darker one, darker muddish color. The HTML notation is. Uh, 4B3D1F. Uh, my shape is on radial, and uh, I'm just gonna stroke out. And I'm sorry if this looks pretty weird right now. That's just something. And uh, now uh, go to File, Open as Layers. You will need a texture. I will give the link in the description. So just open up that texture, and then select your Scale tool. And uh, just scale that till it fits your image. Click on scale. And uh, now we're gonna go to colors uh, desaturate so that it just the image. And now over here, put the mode on overlay and just lower the opacity to around uh, uh, 75%. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna merge those down. And now uh, you may be thinking that the stardust effect is pretty hard to do. That like uh, in one of Gimp Now House tutorial, uh, you have to select your paths tool and keep on making paths for the stardust. Well, this is very easy. What you have to do is uh, duplicate your image. Uh, go to filters, render line nova, and this should come up. And just put your number of lines. I'm just gonna put 90 and the defaults are okay and you should be create generating lines like this now it looks pretty weird but after it's done trust me it looks awesome really awesome so just wait that to load and uh, i also reached 20 subscribers uh, pretty fast i never thought by now i may i thought now i must be around 8 subscribers but 20 it's a pretty big thing and uh, yeah, hope my game tutorial is very good. Uh, yeah, it's almost done. As you can see, it's generated 78 lines. Keeps on showing you. Uh, and it gives us a pretty good looking stardust effect. Almost done. And you would be like, whoa, this is so amazing and good looking for so easily. Always, as, you, as I said, Gimp know how he makes on keeping paths, which is very irritating. The paths don't come correct also, so yeah. And it's done. And uh, now what you have to do is... Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, undo that Stardust thing. Uh, select, put your foreground color on black. On black and then go ahead and filters repeat line repeat line no, or anything you have so as you can see it comes up pretty fast because we have done that before <clears throat> and uh, you people may be wondering why uh, for all, uh as you can see, I don't have a YouTube channel background right now. I've just put it on the default one. Because uh, I'm, I'm happy with the default one. It looks pretty good, I feel. It looks pretty uh, professional, neat. It looks neat. So, that's why. And uh, you can use this as a wallpaper, as you can see. Taking a bit of time, huh? And we're also going to be adding some text effect, I feel, to this. Yes, we're going to add. So just wait there. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Um, another reason why I have stopped making, why I had stopped making tutorials, cause my compu computer had turned really slow. But uh, now, I don't know. Today it's working pretty well, and even my screen record had started working today. I so I tried a lot of times, but it never worked. But I think today is my lucky day. So now, as you can see, these look, these look pretty weird right now, but they look nice after that. And actually, though they don't look at all. They look pretty good. So, as you can see, it gives a hole in the middle. That, and uh, there you have your pretty looking Stardust effect. And as you can see, it looks pretty good, as I said. And now, uh, we're gonna put this mode on the overlay. Uh, and lower the opacity to around, uh, uh, I think, 48%. And that gives us a good looking uh, wallpaper, as you can see, with the grunge texture. And merge those down. And as you, as I told you, it's very easy, and you need don't even use a path tool. And now we're gonna add the text. So, uh, select the text tool, and I'm gonna use the font of pen strip. I'll give the link in the description. And I'm using the size of seventy eight, and just typing in a T. Actually, around uh, two two ninety six would go well. Uh, No, I'm not going to use a text effect. And, uh, yeah, they have it. Your run your vintage Stardust uh, wallpaper and gimp, and I'm Tabu Punk. And